Hi everyone, it's time for another story time at Ford House. Miss Emily here, right outside Josephine Ford's Playhouse, and today we're reading a story inspired by Josephine Ford. During her time here, growing up at Ford House, there was something that was very important to Josephine, and she had quite a few of them, and that would be, any guesses? I'll give you a clue, it's on my shirt. Her dogs. She had several dogs, so today we're reading a book about a dog, and that dog's name is Gaston. So, the words are by Kelly DiBuccio, and the pictures are by Christian Robinson. And it's with permission from Simon & Schuster that I get to read the story about dogs. Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies, Fifi, Fufu, Oolala, and Gaston. Would you like to see them again? Fifi, Fufu, Oolala, and Gaston. Perfectly precious, aren't they? Mrs. Poodle thought so too. The puppies grew, as puppies do. Three were no bigger than teacups. The fourth, however, continued to grow and grow until he was the size of a teapot. Mrs. Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper pooches. They were taught to soup, never slobber. Good, well done, very nice. Nice try. They were taught to yip, never yap. Yip, yip, yip. <gasps> Woof. And they were taught to walk with grace, never race. Tip, toe, tippy, toe. Whoa! The puppies were also taught how to look pretty in pink, nibble their kibble, and ride in style. Whatever the lesson, Gaston always worked the hardest, practiced the longest, and smiled the biggest. Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all of her puppies, Fifi, Fufu, Oolala, and Gaston. Spring arrived and the proud mother was eager to show off her darlings. She took them to the park for their very first stroll in public. There was much to see. There were daffodils, ducklings, and some other dogs. What do, you, what do we have here? R Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Would you like to see them again? There's Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, There were more than a little, this was more than a little awkward. The mother sized up the pups. The pups sized up one another. It seems there's been a terrible mistake, Mrs. Bulldog said, breaking the silence. We, oui, we, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed sadly. Whatever shall we do? Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. I guess we'll let them decide, she replied at last. So there are the poodles. And Gaston, and there are the Bulldogs, and Antoinette. Gaston and Antoinette were young, but even they could see that there had been a mix-up. The two pups began to circle round and around the group. Gaston walked with grace. Antoinette raced. Gaston yipped. Antoinette yipped. And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. There. That looked right. It just didn't feel right. That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters, but she did not like anything proper or precious or pink. Phooey. On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers, but he did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. Ick. Looks like he just wants to read. Antoinette and Gaston weren't the only ones who were having a hard time adjusting. So moms are looking at the pictures. The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. 
Mrs. Bulldog was already there waiting with her broody brood. It seems we've made a terrible mistake, she nearly shouted. Wee oui, wee, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. This time, Gaston and Antoinette wasted no time trading places. There, that looked right and it felt right. So Antoinette's back with her family and Gaston's back with his. From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Ricky, Rocky, Bruno, and Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being tough. Likewise, Fifi, Fufu, ooh la la, and Gaston taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. And many years later, when Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted them to, whatever they wanted to be. The end. All right, so I love dogs too. And so I have come up with a dog inspired art project. So be sure to check out the video and make your own dog project. And next week we'll have a new book and a new project. Bye everyone.